While Invincible and his girlfriend Amber were visiting Adam Eve, who had temporarily moved to Africa, Mark received an unusual call from Cecil. Cecil informed him that his mother was in serious danger, and concerned for his family's safety, Invincible swiftly asked Eve to take Amber home. He then flew back to his own home as fast as he could. Upon his arrival, he quickly realized that the person calling him was not Cecil but Angstrom Levy, the vengeful scientist. Angstrom threatened to harm Mark's mother and half-brother, revealing that he had figured out Invincible's secret identity and was determined to seek revenge. Interestingly, Invincible didn't initially recognize Angstrom Levy, which further fueled Angstrom's anger. In a fit of rage, Angstrom punched Debbie, Mark's mother, unleashing Mark's fury. However, Angstrom possessed a unique ability, the power to open portals to different realities. He used this power to send Mark to an alternate universe inhabited by intelligent dinosaurs who immediately posed a threat to Invincible. Just as a dinosaur was about to strike, another portal opened, returning Invincible to his own universe. Undeterred, Angstrom Levy continued to threaten Invincible's family, including his newborn half-brother Oliver. This provoked Invincible to recklessly attack Angstrom once again, leading Levy to send him to a different dimension for a second time. This time, Invincible found himself in the Marvel Universe, in the midst of a battle between Spider-Man and his iconic nemesis, Dr. Octopus. A sudden disruption occurred, a portal materialized behind Dr. Octopus, and out of it flew Invincible, crashing into Doc Ox and inadvertently freeing Spider-Man from the villain's grasp. Initially, Spider-Man mistook Invincible for a fellow superhero from the Marvel Universe, pondering whether he might be Sentry or Nova with a different costume. Meanwhile, Invincible, unaware of Dr. Octopus's villainous nature, extended a helping hand to the fallen foe, asking if he was all right. However, Doc Ock interpreted Invincible's concern as an insult and retaliated by pushing him into a wall with his mechanical arms. Undeterred, Invincible grabbed Doc Ock's arm and tossed him a considerable distance. As the police arrived at the scene, the two heroes swiftly retreated to a nearby rooftop to assess the situation. Spider-Man took the opportunity to express his concern over Invincible's lack of restraint during the fight, particularly the reckless way he had flung Dr. Octopus away. Now not knowing his whereabouts during their conversation, Spider-Man noticed that Invincible was in tears and inquired about what was troubling him. In response, Invincible revealed his predicament, explaining that he hailed from a different dimension and his mother was being threatened by a dangerous supervillain. Spider-Man, having experienced the pain of losing a loved one, offered his understanding and suggested that they stick together to help each other. They proceeded to introduce themselves, sharing their superhero names and forming a foundation of trust between them. The two heroes decided to visit the Avengers Tower to seek assistance in tracking down Dr. Octopus. Along the way, Spider-Man provided Invincible with some background on the Avengers. Upon entering the tower, they were greeted by Aunt May and Mary Jane. Initially, Invincible mistook them for Avengers, but Spider-Man clarified that they were his family. The two heroes then removed their masks, revealing their true identities, further solidifying their trust. The Avengers soon arrived, and Invincible, trying to guess their names based on the pattern of naming in this universe, made humorous attempts such as Flagman for Captain America and Clawman for Wolverine. The Avengers inquired about the new hero's identity, and Spider-Man explained how he had arrived through a portal while fighting Dr. Octopus. Iron Man picked up police chatter about Dr. Octopus attacking civilians in the harbor, and Captain America offered his assistance. However, Peter insisted on dealing with the situation himself, believing it was his responsibility. On the route to the harbor, Spider-Man asked Invincible for a favor, requesting that he carry him to the scene for a faster arrival. At the harbor, Dr. Octopus was recklessly terrorizing innocent people, and Invincible intervened, hurling him into the sea. Spider-Man appealed to the police to remain safe and let the heroes handle the situation. Following a struggle in the water, Doc Ock once again targeted Invincible, prompting the hero to use his super speed to dismantle Dr. Octopus's mechanical arms, incapacitating the villain. Impressed by Invincible's abilities, Spider-Man suggested that they team up to take on other villains like Sandman or Electro. However, Invincible declined the offer as another portal suddenly opened, signaling his need to return and rescue his mother from Angstrom Levy. The two heroes bid each other farewell, and Spider-Man wished Invincible good luck in his dire situation. As Invincible gathered his speed and charged into the portal, Spider-Man had a change of heart and attempted to follow him to offer assistance. He used his webbing to reach Invincible, 
but the portal closed just as Invincible entered, severing the web line. Spider-Man reflected on the reckless decision that could have left him stranded in a different dimension and then swung away, wishing Invincible the best of luck in resolving his pressing problem. As Invincible continued his relentless battle against Angstrom Levy, the brilliant but vengeful scientist once again harnessed his dimension-traveling abilities. He sent Invincible hurtling through various dimensions, including some rather unexpected ones such as the universe of The Walking Dead, and another that bore a striking resemblance to DC Comics. In this DC-like universe, Invincible encountered someone who appeared to be Batman, even though there had been no official crossovers between the two comic universes. Amidst this chaotic battle, Debbie, Invincible's mother, bravely confronted Angstrom Levy. She attempted to thwart his sinister plans and attacked him, targeting his head. Unfortunately, her actions only served to further enrage Angstrom, leading him to respond by breaking Debbie's arm. When Invincible finally managed to return to the fray and saw the harm that Angstrom had inflicted upon his mother, he launched a powerful counterattack against Levy. But regrettably, we must conclude the video at this point to avoid spoiling the epic conclusion of the rest of the story, as this storyline will likely be portrayed in the upcoming episodes of Invincible Season 2.